Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Sim Shack and of course welcome back to me, Sim UK. I thought we'd spend a bit of money today on a couple of new boats. The Conquest. 1.4 million knocks. So fishing boat tier 2 for 9.2 meters, 8 ton, 13.5 knots, not too bad. Engine power, 135 liters. Fuel capacity, 2.5 liters. Cargo type, extra small. But it can do 6,600 kilograms of long line and net fishing, which is the important thing. Match fishing gear is 10. Uh, we can hold 18 ton of cod, 20 ton of haddock, 35 ton of pollock, 12 ton of redfish, 6 salmon, 12 halibut, 8 catfish, and 15 mackerel. That's our quotas. Let's buy this bad boy. And let's take a little look at her. Oh, yes. This is very much the next sort of step up from what we've been sailing in. Proper bit of... Uh, proper bit of um, draft on this bad boy. Hull health is 200%, which is good because I just bought her. So the net's going to go over the back there, I'm assuming. We'll have to rig it if we're going to do net stuff. This You used to be able to go in there and down into the cabin and stuff below but doesn't seem to be a thing anymore give it time though so we've got an electrical box here nothing too serious pretty much the same as the other one close that up and uh yeah what have we got we've got the log book obviously got lanterns and stuff pretty groovy we've got some cupboards and things not really much we can do there Sadly, we can't squeeze down the front and have a look and see what that's like. But uh, a very nice boat, nonetheless. And we still have 88 million left to spend. So let's have a quick look and see what sort of a rigging we can put on here. So we can rig for long line. And... Uh, we've got to get the skill for the nets, and then we can do light cargo. So let's buy the long line. There it is. And let's come out of this, go to my skill tree, fishing, and unlock net. Bosh. So that's good. We have net fishing now. Go back in here again. And now we'll buy that thirteen and a half thousand for the for the net fishing. Oh, that's a bit more advanced, isn't it? So we go and have a little look, see at that, what that looks like. Oh yes, this is looking far more far more serious. Open cap. There's an emergency stop button. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. We can decrease the speed. We can increase the speed. And we can start and stop the hauler. No fishing net in reach. What did it say when I pressed it up? Please put the hauler in the correct position to start hauling fishing gear. It also said, what? Please put the hauler... Uh, okay, it's the same thing over and over again. So I've got to put the hauler in the correct position. So that's how that goes. And then you come round here... And please close the hatch. So that must be the hatch. Right, okay. So now when I press it, there's no fish habitat and no fish in the area. But it would pull the net in this way. And then we would process the fish and gut the fish. And the fish would end up in the hold there. Oh, bloody tastic. Yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. I like that very much indeed. I'm looking forward to uh, playing about with that. Let's uh, let's see what upgrades we can do. Uh, we can do a fuse box upgrade for sixty-four thousand. Excuse me to reduce the number of electrical problems that we have. 
and we can have an engine upgrade or a hundred thousand the jmd 250 diesel engine a high powered masterpiece boasting 250 horsepower at three and a half thousand rpm so we'll have that we'll install it and of course we're going to upgrade the propeller to something a bit more oh look at that that looks very serious doesn't it the obsidian slick xr the obsidian Obsidian Slick Propeller boasts supreme performance, setting the gold standard for power and precision, providing not only remarkable performance, but also a sense of confidence that comes from mastering the seas. <laughs> Wicked. Right, so we have bought... Uh, we have bought our brand new ship. And uh, we don't know much about her just yet, but I am up open for names, guys. If you can think of a name for this boat, please let me know in the comments section below. We don't really know much about her yet, but I think she's going to be an awesome fishing vessel, especially when we get nets on the go. I think she's going to earn us quite a few squiddly winks. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting out there on the high seas with her. So yes, if you have any uh, recommendations for names, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you very much. And I will... Uh, Pick my favourite, and she will be named accordingly. Till next time, take care. Goodbye for now. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be.